against certain things it's very interesting and one of the other shadow sides that i see here is that Welcome back to No Light Hour. Welcome to No Light Hour. My name is Holly. So grateful to have you all. Um, let's get into this reading. Thank you for your patience, everybody. I was moving. I've been moving for two weeks. It's been well. I was first moving, then I had to do my apartment. So now, thank God, I live alone. But I had to do basically everything myself, um, which I'm grateful for. But that's why it took me so long. So my studio space took a long time. Because I want to make sure that I don't really have to adjust it that much too. My bed is behind me. As you can see, I have tons of studio space. So it might be a little bit of an echo. I am working on getting a buffer. But please be patient while I do. So to start off the readings for 2023, I decided to do predictions for different celebrities. Probably throughout January. So if you'd like to see one please comment in the section below one that i haven't done okay okie dokie so i'm doing justin bieber for 2023 i got when i was shuffling his cards the energy of like anger and upset so it's seven of swords heck of wands which is ace of wands which is heck of six of cups i see here i think that he's having like a come to jesus moment i think he's had quite a few some of them i think have been artificial and others i feel like he has wanted so much to be spiritual and he, he is a sun in pisces sun and pisces are the oldest zodiac and sometimes when i see sun and pisces i see like a lot of um the pros of sun and pisces because i feel like sometimes i talk about the shadow side too much the pros of sun and pisces is that they're very compassionate, very understanding. Um, you know, some of the Pisces I've met in my life, I dated two Pisces, very compassionate people. Their compassion is just like so much. Some of my friends are Pisces and you know, they are very good at learning forgiveness. Um, if you ever need a lesson in forgiveness, most Pisces are great to that. On the flip side, however, they can hold grudges randomly, you know, against certain things. It's very interesting. And one of the other shadow sides that I see here is that he has a sense of, I know everything. Nobody can tell me anything. And it's funny because they say Aquarius are like that. I'm son of Aquarius. But I actually see it more in Pisces. I find it very hard to sometimes give Pisces advice because because they're the oldest zodiac they know everything you know not all but a lot that i've spoken to they know everything so oftentimes the advice that i give for pisces is even if you know it it doesn't hurt to just listen to what somebody else might have to say you know and that's the thing about him i get like i know it all energy nobody could tell me anything i've seen it all i've done it all but you know i always say this too to pisces you wouldn't be on earth if you didn't have something to learn, you know? Your soul might have accrued tons, tons, tons of things and wisdom. And Pisces can be so full of wisdom and great to giving advice. But taking advice is something else. And there's something I feel like he needs to work on. And you'll, we're going to see it. I see especially in the public eye it's gonna get very tough for him and i think that's why he gets into these kind of public meltdowns because because there's just so much uh to lose number one and he's so stubborn you know pisces can be very stubborn so it's seven of cups i see here very strongly interesting the six of cups seven of cups for each other that's very interesting and it's almost like it makes sense why I'm getting consecutive cards for 2023 because 
he's learning to learn he's learning to be open and it's going to go to the point something's going to happen in the summertime spring summertime it's going to force him to be open i see like him breaking a wrist or something like that something to do with his wrist ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck he's going to have to stop with music you know i find it very interesting that he's always, he often tends to hurt himself i think you know what they say when the universe knocks listen he has the people have to like the universe with him has to be like banging on his door like for him to listen because he's not a very good listener um like i said so i know it all i know it all i know it all so with the chariot the empress and the hermit it's not looking good for him and Haley. i see lots of arguments and time can change but i see their relationship ending i see their relationship ending and separation to pentacles of assets too i think this is the year that it will be over for them so i love you all i would love to have to say please be respectful take care